Hello everybody, my name is Stephanie Balderas. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have an unboxing of the Harvest Collection. So everything I'm going to show you is from Sensi's 2021 Harvest Collection. Um, everything here is still available. The only item that has sold out from the Harvest Collection is the Enchanted Pumpkin Warmer. I showed it in my last video. It's absolutely gorgeous and it went very quickly. So if you didn't get a chance to grab one of those, I'm sorry. I hope sometime they bring it back again because it just seems to be a showstopper every single time it's out. But if you grabbed one, congratulations. You're one of the lucky ones that got one. Um, but I'm going to show you the Nightmare Before Christmas items that I got and also other Harvest Collection items that I picked up. And then I had a special surprise from the FedEx man today on a Sunday. He delivered a box that I was not even expecting to receive until next month, but I got it, so I'm going to show that at the very end. But we're going to dive into Harvest Collection items. I picked up a few things. Um, let's start with wax. So we have a three-bar bundle, and I picked up the three-bar bundle. I wanted to smell it. Unfortunately, you can't buy these bars separately which I hate because there's one in particular that I really love. But what you can do if there's a bar that you really, really love, you can put it in your Scentsy Club and your first Scentsy Club um, order will ship automatically. So you'll get those bars right away. So if you want six bars of just one scent, you can put it in your Scentsy Club and get six bars of only that scent. So we're gonna start with this. Um, this is available for $17 US. And we're gonna start with toasted acorn and oak. Let me let you see the, the design. So this is, let me look at my brochure. I'm gonna read you the description. It is toasted acorn and creamy chestnut roasted over golden oak. All right. This is, I would expect this to be just very woodsy, but it's not, it's very sweet. Um, I get a little bit of uh, autumn spice in there. There's a nuttiness in it, which is the acorn, of course. On the bottom, I really get the oak. I really smell the wood, the woodsiness on the bottom. And if you ever see me flip the bar out, it's because the oils settle and you get a really good smell of all the notes at the bottom of the bar. So I do get the woodsiness from the bottom of the bar, but this is very sweet. Um, almost cloyingly sweet in my opinion. I do not like cloyingly sweet. Um, I usually like fresh, fruity, some woodsy. I like clean. Um, I'm not into bakery. I think that's the one thing I can roll out. I just do not like bakery scents. This almost smells a little bakery in that it's cloyingly sweet. Um, so if you really like those scents, if you really like bakery scents, you'll probably really enjoy this bar. For me, it's a no, just because it's not my type of scent. But there is that one, um, Orchard Apple and Spice. So I'm trying to get it, there we go. It's not focusing. Okay, Orchard Apple and Spice is, let me read the description. It is an autumn treat of ripe orchard apple is complemented by bright cherry and a finishing touch of warm spice. So cherry and apple. This is wonderful. I love the scent. This is good. This is perfect. My perfect kind of fall apple. Because you have a, you have the cherry which adds like some brightness and zest to the apple. And then you have all the spice. This is a bar that I would get like six bars of. I love it so much. So that's Orchard Apple and Spice. And then this one I was so excited to smell. It is Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. Let me let you look at the, yeah, pumpkins and pies on the cover. I love the designs on the, on the lids. This one is described as Sugar Cranberry adds a sweet kick to baked pumpkin delightfully infused with cinnamon spice. So I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin spice. And so cranberry, that kind of intrigued me that they're adding cranberry to this. 
I definitely smell the pumpkin right off the top. And let me pop it out. On the bottom, I get the cranberry and the spice. I think I really like this one. This almost has that same kind of, um, it smells a lot like cider, cider meal, but not quite. It's, it's actually different. This is really nice. So I really like this one. I'm excited to give this one a try. I'm really excited to give this one a try. This one is a no-no for me just because it's just not my type of scent. But if you love those bakery scents, if you love those really sweet, rich scents, you're really going to love toasted acorn and oak. Um, I like picking up these three packs even though there are you can't buy them separately because I enjoy the, the surprise of smelling something new. And if I don't like this, then I can always gift it to someone that I know will like it. And it's not a loss for me at all. Um, so I'm excited to warm through these. Then I did pick up some pods. I did not get the pods in the toasted acorn and oak just because I just had a feeling I wasn't going to love it and I'm glad I didn't get the pods. I did get pods in orchard apple and spice and cranberry pumpkin spice. So I'm excited to try these in my wall fan diffusers. I love wall fan diffusers. I have one by my garage door because my cat is stinky sometimes. Um, and sometimes the garage gets stinky. You can put them in your bathroom, your hallway. They're great for small rooms, offices. So I'm excited to try the pods. Um, and then I got a fragrance flower in each of the scents of uh, cranberry pumpkin spice and orchard apple and spice. So if you don't know what a fragrance flower is, I'm just gonna show you what it is real quick. They are these like oil diffusers. If you've seen the reed diffusers where it's like the little jar of oil with all the sticks sticking out, that's exactly the same concept of this. Sorry, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. If I sneeze, I feel it coming, I'm sorry. But this one has this really pretty little flower um, and they're all handmade. So you get this jar of oil and you take the cap off and then you put this little silver cap on and then you would slip the flower into the through that silver cap and this one is the buttercup bell design let me try to get this out without damaging it so it's this really pretty doo -doo design i'm sorry my ring light is probably washing out everything i'm new to trying to use these things so i'm new to this technology but this is the Buttercup Bell. It's this really pretty, it's made out of reed paper or somehow it's made out of reeds. I'm not sure how, but these are all handmade. And so it's just this really pretty delicate design. And as this cotton wick soaks up the oil, it, the little petals soak up the oil and then you smell the fragrance. These are great in cars. Tried it in my car. I had somebody tell me that they put it in their car and I was like, I never thought of doing that before. Game changer. It lasts so long and it's just really strong. Every time you open the door, it's really, really strong. So I think this is going to, I may even like it better than car bars, to be honest with you. So I will continue to put fragrance flowers in my car. Just put it in the cup holder in the very back and enjoy the scent. So. There is that. I picked up that. And then I did get some soaps. We had a three pack of soaps and I believe these are still available. And let me tell you the price real quick. Um, they're $18 for three soaps. Um, I picked up the soaps. Unfortunately, like the, the wax, you can't buy them separately. They, call, they come all in this bundle. So you have to get all the scents, but they come in the scent Maple Apple Bourbon, Bright Cider Life, and then in the scent Appleberry. Now, we don't have Appleberry in wax, which I'm kind of confused, like, why they would make a soap out of something we've never smelled before. I wish we had, because that just sounds wonderful, Appleberry. I love apples. I love berries, so I'm going to open this and smell it. I hope one day they do come out with this wax because 
I think I'd really like it. So I'm gonna just open it. It has pomegranates and apples on the print design. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay, yeah, that's right up my, my alley. I would love this in wax. So Sensi, if you're watching, please bring us this wax and appleberry because I know I would love it. Gosh, that smells so good. That's awesome. That is a really, really good scent. Okay, now one more warmer that is not Nightmare Before Christmas and then we'll get it. Oh no, I have two that are not Nightmare Before Christmas. We're gonna start with the Cut It Out warmer. This is $20. I love jack-o'-lanterns. I kind of have started a little collection of jack-o'-lanterns in my kitchen, so I think it's gonna be something I continue to do every fall season. Um, these are little plug-in warmers, so they come in with a, they come with a little plug, and then they come with a bulb, of course. Let me get this bulb out. This is so cute. And you just, um, put your bulb in the base, and then here is the little jack-o'-lantern. Isn't he so cute? Now, I, because Disney has partnered with Scentsy, and I love the little jack-o'-lantern Mickey. I hope they come out with a jack-o'-lantern Mickey soon. I would love that. Like a little warmer that's a jack-o'-lantern Mickey just like this with the ears. That would be so cool. So, this is this little guy. I'm going to plug it in and let you see how it looks when it's lit up. I have my extension cord here. So, isn't he cute? I love it. So, this is $20. It takes a 15 watt bulb. And we do have colored bulbs, so if you want to add like a green light to him or red or even orange, you can. So, so cute. Cut it out. And let me unplug this one second. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. And then the next warmer I wanted to show you before I move on to Nightmare Before Christmas is the Under Wraps Mummy. So this is a little mummy warmer. This does come in the mini plug-in warmer just like that jack-o'-lantern. It does come in that size, but it also comes in the full size. Um, this was a warmer of the month last year. And around, I think it was for September or October, can't remember exactly, but it was a warmer of the month last year, and I'm just gonna let you check it out. So, this one, I believe, I'm not gonna light it up because it sits on a base. Well, let me show you the base so you can see what I'm talking about. So, it sits on a base like this. And you put the light bulb on the base and then there's your light bulb and then you take this guy look how cute he is he's so cute I'm gonna sneeze sorry I'm sorry I feel it coming on excuse me <coughs> there it is okay we're done so there's the mummy and the top this is where you put the wax of course it's green his eyes are green and then you set this over the base. So that's how he would light up. That's under wraps. Uh, let me see how much this one cost. This one is da, 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 $40 US. So, and that is US pricing in case you're wondering. I am in the US, so. Let me put this away real quick and we'll move on. Okay, so time for Nightmare Before Christmas. We're gonna start with the Oogie Boogie Wax. So Oogie Boogie is something new that they've added this year. Last year we had a new Jack plug-in and then the first year and second year we had the original Jack Skellington warmer. 
Um, they did not bring that warmer back, but you can get the plug-in, and I did get that. Um, but I did get the roll the dice wax. I got a three pack of it. Look how pretty that, that green color is. But the cool thing about this is every single cover, there's like four designs in the cover, so you can get a different design. Uh, one is like a holographic one, which is more rare, but these are the three I got. I got this cover, a roll the dice, and then I, this is my favorite one. I got this one, the, the little creepy toys that they make the kids for Halloween. And then I got this one with lock, shock, and barrel. And we're gonna smell this together. But let me read the description, of course. So it is zesty citrus and dark fruits lurking beneath sage and balsam. So. This smells, I smell balsam, but it's not Christmas tree balsam. This smells like a man's cologne. Very zesty indeed, but very good. Ooh, you can smell better on the bottom. This is really nice. If you like those masculine type of scents, you're gonna love this. It's very zesty and woodsy. It is a really nice scent. I really, really like this. I think my husband is going to enjoy it too. So I can't wait to warm this and give it a try. So you can buy these in a three pack, you know, bundle and save, or you can buy them separately, but they do come with cute little pictures on the front. All right, I'm going to show you, this was available last year. I didn't get it last year and I kicked myself for not getting one for myself. I do have the original Jack Skellington warmer. My daughter loves Nightmare Before Christmas, so I kind of decided I want to collect this just to have every year to put out for Halloween because I know that she'll enjoy it so much. So when you open it, it says, my, what a brilliant nose you have, and then it has bark, bark, bark. This is uh, Jack Skellington Pumpkin King, and this one features zero, I believe. So, let's put it together. So when you open the lid, you get this little wire pumpkin. We're gonna take this apart. All right, let's open this. Okay. So you get this little pumpkin cut out. Here is the base. Now the Nightmare Before Christmas little plug-in warmers are the only warmers that have the black base, which is really cool. All right, I'm gonna keep this one out for the next one, so I'm not having to take time to open that one up. So then, here is the little warmer. So this is actually, it looks like a tombstone and it's Jack and Zero. Let me get closer for you to see, let it focus. Ugh, my camera's not focusing. So there's Jack and Zero. Um, then there is Zero's, there it is. There's his little dog house in the cemetery. And you have the wisping clouds and the swirling hills. And then on this side, you have a jack-o'-lantern and the same thing, the wispy little hills, some little pumpkins right there. I'm trying to get my camera to focus, let me see. There we go, that's better. So there's that scene, and then there's this scene. And then of course in the front, there's Jack and Zero. So let's plug it in and give it a look. And I believe this one is $30. Let me make sure. I believe it's $30. I think all of these, they're a little bit higher because they're licensed products. And so, yes, it's $30. So it has a really cute little glow. And then let me get a little, you can really see the 
Jeez Louise, my camera is terrible. I'm sorry. You can really see all the details when it's on. So I'm trying to show you. So, really cute. I want to put this one on a, a tabletop base to display it. Oh, and the inside of it is orange. So, there it is that one. Now, the next one I'm so excited about. Lock, shock, and barrel. I love the box. So, you have the creepy little bathtub that walks with the kids inside of it. And then, look at this. So, when you open the box, it's Sandy Claws. Isn't that cute? So, same thing. You have this little metal cutout that goes on top of the warmer. So, don't throw this away. Don't think that it's trash. And you have your plug-in and everything inside of there. But since I have this one out, I'm going to use it. And then... It's a bathtub. So there's these little, um, they have little rubber things in there and that's where you stick lock, shock, and barrel. It has a, it has a little hole, but look at that. See, let me get close. You have Jack and you have lock, shock, and barrel. And you have the legs of the tub and then the little wind-up thing on the tub. It's like there's slime oozing out of the tub. This is so stinking cute. The only bummer about this is that I don't think it fits on the tabletop base. And I really want it for a tabletop base. So I'm going to have to figure out something to kind of like balance it. Because I just, I want this displayed. I love it so much. So if they don't figure out this year I hope next year they figure out how to put this on a tabletop base even if they make a special one for it so let's see how it looks all it up let's look closely I just love it it is so so cute so I'm excited about this one I love I enjoy Nightmare Before Christmas as much as my daughter. Maybe she does a little bit more, but I remember watching this as a kid and I just thought it was the coolest ever. So I'm kind of glad that she's into it too. So there is that. Now the buddies, I will be getting the buddies. I will be getting the buddy of Oogie Boogie and Zero. They are not available yet. They will be available later this month to order. There were some delays in um, shipping due to COVID. COVID has just made everything crazy, as you can imagine. So those will be available if you're interested in them. And I can show you in the brochure, there is Oogie Boogie and Zero and his nose does light up. But you can pick up the Mayor Buddy Clip right now. And I did get the Mayor Buddy Clip. He is in the scent Halloween Town. And this is really cute. Now, here's, here's a crazy thing. I don't like the scent in Halloween Town, but I like it in the, the Buddy. Like, it smells better to me in the Buddy than in the wax. But here he is, and he has his little spider bow tie, his little mayor ribbon. But the cool thing is, is you can turn his head around. So there's his mad face. His happy face. This is just so cool. All the detail is just perfect. I love it. So I'm so excited to have this. And if you are storing your buddy clips, if you're not, if you're, you know, you have them for just a little bit and then you put want to put them away, keep this little container and put them back in the container and it'll keep the scent fresh so that it doesn't kind of go out on its own. Um and last but not least, this is what FedEx brought me this morning, and I was really shocked because I didn't expect it. I had to open the box because I was like, what is in this box? But well, let me show you, and this is my first time seeing it. It is Oogie Boogie's Royal Casino. 
Look at this box. It is so cool. My daughter loves Oogie Boogie. I think that's her favorite character. Oogie and Sally. This is really cool. It's heavy. So this is a pricey little warmer, but I'm going to give you a tip. So this is $80. That's a lot. But if you're a collector, I know that you will, you won't mind it. But if you are like, ooh, that's a lot to pay at, at once. If you order on the website, you can check out and use PayPal. And PayPal will let you do pay in four. So there's no interest or anything. It's not anything like that. But it just breaks your payment down into four installments that you pay every two weeks. So it's not like you're paying $80 at once. It splits it into four and then just drafts it out of your account or off your card um, every two weeks. So it doesn't, it's not such a big hit. So if there's any of those items that you're like, oh, I love that, but it's a lot of money, use the PayPal pay and four and it won't be so bad, I promise. So here is, let's open it up. So let's look at the cover first. So you see all of Oogie Boogie's bugs and it says, it's Oogie's turn to boogie now. My bugs, my bugs. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. So we got your instructions, another metal cutout, and this one just says Oogie Boogie, and it has lots of bugs in it. Staple pretty darn good. Okay, let's get it out. So Oogie Boogie. Here's the dish. Look at this. It's a purple dish and it has bugs in it. Look how pretty that is. I love the colors. So we got bugs. Oh, I'm so excited. We have a 20 watt bulb. And remember, you can always use colored bulbs too if you want to do that. I'm so excited. All right, so here it is. There's Oogie and his dice, and then all of the, the little, if you hear that noise, it's my daughter over there. She's watching me open this for the first time, and she's excited. And then on this side, you have Jack and Zero hiding behind the wheel. And then you have Sally's leg, where, you know, in the movie, she uses her leg to get Oogie Boogie to, well, she uses it to distract him. So, and in the back, you have a cutout of Oogie Boogie. So when it lights, uh, when it casts its light against the wall, it's gonna show this cutout of Oogie Boogie. So let's light it up. I'm so excited for this. I This had a delay and I didn't expect this honestly until like November. And so when it came this morning, I was like, what is in this box? I wasn't expecting anything. I was so excited, so. All right, let's put the cutout on top. And then we will put the, the dish on. Oh, let's plug it in. hurry I hear my kid crying he must have woken up but there it is and in the back there's Oogie Boogie and then I don't know if you can tell from I have the light on but these kind of glow down here all these little his little casino thing this all lights up this is a really cool warmer. So if you are a Nightmare Before Christmas fan and you like to collect Nightmare Before Christmas items, you're definitely going to love this because it is really cool. Pricey, but cool. And like I said, if you use that PayPal paying for, it doesn't hurt so bad. So keep that in mind. But um, that is it. Now I have to put all this stuff up, but I wanted to show it to you. Um, 
before I display it. And if there's, all of this stuff is still available. So if there's anything you would like, I'll link my website down below and you can use my website to make your purchase. If you have any questions about any items, just leave me a comment and I would love to help you out and answer your questions. And if there's anything else I can help you with, if you have any questions about joining, if you wanna be a consultant and have these awesome orders come in that you get to share with people, I would love to help you get started on your Scentsy journey. And I appreciate you sticking around and watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.